Hello and welcome to another HTML Canvas tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to style the lines that we draw on the canvas. So if you haven't looked at the previous tutorials, um, there's one on drawing rectangles and squares and one on drawing lines on the canvas. So if you haven't already checked those out, then go back and check those out before um, you watch this one. So we're going to style lines, we're going to change the color of lines, we're going to change the um, width of lines and also the cap on the end of the line. So first thing to get started is to create a canvas using the canvas tag. Um, so create a canvas that we can draw this line onto and we'll give the canvas um, an ID of my canvas, whatever you want to call it, width of 300 and a height of 300 also. Okay, and we will style this line as well. So in the head section, we'll add the style tags. And um, basically, we can refer to the canvas ID of my canvas. And we can add some style information in here. So we can specify the background color of this canvas. We can just leave it as, um, as white. So we can use the hexadecimal color code for white, which is six Fs. And we can also specify the border as one pixel solid and the color can be white using its, oh sorry, black using its hexadecimal color code. So white background, black border, that's one pixel solid. That's all we'll specify for that style for the canvas, just so we can see a border around the canvas so we know where it is. Um, and that's all. So now we'll um, add some an opening and closing script tag and we're going to use some JavaScript inside these script tags to actually draw the line. So we'll create a function called draw and inside this function we'll draw the line and then we'll also style it. So we'll do what we did with the rectangle and the line in the previous tutorials and we'll say var ctx equals and we'll use a dot document dot get document.get element by ID method and we'll grab the um, canvas element using its my canvas ID and dot get context oops okay. get context 2d so basically this is a setting it up so we can use um, all the different um, line properties and um, create the line and style the line. So var ctx equals document dot get element by ID, my canvas and dot get context 2D. All right, then we can um, actually specify where the line will begin. So we can say ctx dot move to, and inside these brackets, I'll just add a comment here to say um, inside these brackets, the two parameters are the X and Y position. So on the canvas, the um, X position of where the line will begin will be 50, and the Y position will also be 50. So it'll start sort of up in the top left corner, but not quite right up in the top left corner. So that's where the line will begin. Now we'll say where the line will end or where it will go to. So where we're going to draw this line to. And that will also be X and Y positions. We'll just add a comment there to remind us of what this is, and these, X and Y positions will be 250 and 250. All right, now what we can do next is we can specify the color. So we can say CTX stroke style equals, and then in quotation marks, we can add the hexadecimal color code. So I'm going to um, make this um, line blue. But what I'll do is actually is I'll show you the different um, hexadecimal color codes for red, green, and blue. So they're actually pretty easy to remember. Red is two Fs and then four zeros. Green is basically move those two Fs um, along. So zero, zero, FF, so two Fs in the middle and then zero, zero. And um, so that's green and blue is to move those FFs to the end, those two Fs to the end. So zero, 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 FF. So basically red is FF zero, 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 zero. 
green is 00FF00 and blue is 0000FF. All right, so RGB, red, green, blue, um, pretty easy to remember. Okay, so we'll leave it at blue for the line color. And then we just say CTX stroke to actually draw that line. All right, but one last thing we need to do here is um, call this function. So we draw this line inside a function, so we need to actually call or run this function when the page loads. So we'll use the window.onload event to run the draw function. All right, now let's have a look at this. Save that and we'll open it in the browser. And there we go. We have a blue line starting at X and Y positions of 50 and 50, and X position uh, it finishes, draws two, and X position of 250 and a Y position of 250. All right, so we can style this line by adding a few um, extra bits of information here. So all we can do is add another line here, and we can say CTX dot line width, and we could change that to say 10. Save and refresh. And so now that line's a little bit thicker. We can make it even thicker. We could say 20. And there we go. We've got a, um, a thicker line. So we can specify the, um, the line width using um, ctx.line width. Okay. Um, the next thing to do is we can specify the end of the line or the line cap. So the shape on the end. So CTX line cap equals, and then in quotation mark, there's a couple of different, actually there's a few different values we can add here. There's three different values we can add. And those are, so line cap options are, I'll just add a comment here, square, um, round, and butt. <laughs> so square is what you'd think. So square is actually the default. So if I save and refresh, it it just adds a line cap there of um, like a square. So it's added a square line cap on each end of the line. So you might have noticed that the line kind of lengthened a little bit because it's adding a square line cap on the end. Um, the other option is um, but. Okay. So basically that makes it like a um, square end as well, but it didn't add that extra bit on. So notice probably that I refreshed the page, the line shortened a little bit. So, um, but is the same shape on the end as square, but it doesn't add that extra bit onto the line. Um, so it just sort of squares off the line. And the other option is round. So save and refresh that. And now we get a round, line cap. So um, we've got square, round, and butt. Um, at the moment, the only difference that you might have seen between round, uh, sorry, between square and butt is that the using butt, the line is just a little bit shorter than when we use square. So um, that's all you might have noticed so far. But when we actually start joining lines together, um, you'll see um, the difference between those when we actually join lines together and, and how that works. Um, so those are some of the different ways that we can style our lines. Um, we can change the color of our line. We can um, change the line width and we can also change the line cap. Okay, thanks for watching.